Dr. Bonanza both for flyers as well as newer airlines like Vistara and Air Asia as the cabinet cleared the new aviation policy. The new policy will ease rules for airlines to fly overseas, radically increase regional air connectivity and encourage more people to fly. Sandeep Pukan joining us at this point with the details of the new policy. Uh, Sandeep, what more do we know? What are the highlights and what's going to benefit people the most? Well, I think as you rightly put it, there are uh, you know two big aspects of this uh, new civil aviation policy. Uh, one is that you know it would encourage competition, uh, competition uh, in the international sector. Uh, as of now, what is happening is that you know if you're an Indian carrier or Indian airline, you need to fly for five years. You have to have a fleet of 20 aircraft. Only after completing five years and having a fleet of 20 aircraft, only then you can think of flying abroad or overseas. That's why, you know, uh, new, newer carriers like Vistara or Air Asia, they cannot fly international, they cannot go international. Now, that, this was called the 520 rule. So the big decision is that right now it's become 020. What this means, Ankita, is that it doesn't matter whether you've been operating for a few months or a few years. Uh, if you have 20 plus planes, uh, you know, if your fleet size is more than 20, uh, you can, you can, uh, you know, depending on which route you want to fly, you can surely go international. So that's a big, uh, that's a sort of big decision because the government believes that if you encourage competition, if more airlines come in, uh, fares are going to, you know, because of competition, fares are going to come down and uh, ultimately the consumers will gain. But what about people who travel domestically? Uh, the key focus, really the thrust of this civil aviation policy has been regional connectivity. That's the real key thrust area. Uh, some real radical changes have been proposed. The government says that we will cap fares at 2,500 rupees for a, fl uh, for a flight that is about an hour long. Uh, so what happens is that if you want to fly from, let's say, uh, you know, uh, from one place to Bhatinda to Bhagalpur, these are all tier two cities. You know, there there is probably no flight connection between Bhatinda and Bhagalpur in Bihar. So if you want, if any airline wants to do these kind of routes, so then they can, you know, bring in airline, bring in, uh, bring in their planes. They can start operation uh, in low cost, no frills airport. The catch is that you cannot exceed the fare of 2,500. What if the operating cost is a little more? Then the government says that, well, if it's, let's say, if your actual cost of the ticket is 3,500, then we will pay that remaining subsidy of 1,000 rupees, and that subsidy will be recovered from a cess that will be charged on domestic airlines. So that's the model. How successful it becomes, we'll have to wait and see uh, in terms of response. Which routes will be thrown open according to this formula model that the government is not yet ready to say. They say that they have in mind about 50 destinations, but it all depends also on the state government of these particular places, whether they have the demand or not. Ankita.